Welcome to Spiritual Success, the podcast. I'm your host, Cynthia Stant. As a dedicated student of metaphysics, I have skillfully honed my intuition, mastered the art of meditation, and cultivated a disciplined spiritual practice that has led me to become a multi-seven-figure top sales producer. Today, I work with thousands of business professionals, entrepreneurs, and their teams to up-level their sales game and create magic in their business and life. On this show, you will see that all success truly happens when you authentically align with your intuition. So come, be vulnerable, be open-minded, and allow success to pour through you here on Spiritual Success. Hello, hello, successful souls. Okay, so today's episode is called What You Prioritize, You Will Energize. I'm gonna start off with a really funny story to help you understand what I'm talking about. Many years ago, about 10 years ago now, when I was in my very early 20s, I worked at a restaurant. It was an awesome restaurant. I still go there all the time. Firebirds, wood fire girl, little shout out to you. Love you guys. <laughs> I used to be the sales director there. And so again, I've always been in sales, right? Um, when I was there, I was responsible for managing all of their catering, their banquet events, special events. So a lot of corporations would come in, have corporate events, bridal showers, engagement parties, things like that. They would come to me and I would help them plan it out. So another thing that was important is that I would go around and kind of pat heads and shake hands and kiss babies and just kind of be the face of the restaurant and help them to bring in business through, again, catering and, and the special events. So it was Christmas time and we were super popular at Christmas time. They have to die for martinis and amazing food and there's fireplaces everywhere. So it's super warm in the Northeast and it's just like a really cozy place to be. And so we were popped. It was super busy. We would have like two, three hour waits. And of course at Christmas time, I was dressed to the T. So I remember at the time I had amazing velvet red shoes on. Oh my God, they were so beautiful. I had my bright red lipstick on and I even had this great long red coat with like cheetah on the inside. It's funny because as I'm watching this, I literally just watched Cruella de Vil, the new Disney movie, which of course, <laughs> me watching Disney, are you shocked? But um, I kind of had a statement piece there. It reminds me of her. So anyway, I was dressed to the T, but man, well, I tell you, I was exhausted. During the holidays, working in hospitality, it was go, 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 do, 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 and heels, mind you. Whew, I was crazy all day long. <laughs> so I remember finally getting done work and it was around five o'clock and all I could think about was going to my big comfy bed. <laughs> and got in my car and was like, can I make it? Oh, I just want to get there. It's rush hour traffic. All I want to do is go to bed. So I get onto 95 South, the interstate, and I'm driving and there's traffic and I'm just almost there. Can I get to bed? I'm so tired. <laughs> then all of a sudden, ring, 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 ring. Who's that? Grab my phone. Shouldn't do that, by the way. <laughs> I do not recommend that. And now that I have my babies, I certainly do not. Um, but I guess who it was. It was this guy and his name was Joey. <laughs> my, my current husband, who's like sneezing in the background, babe, be quiet. <laughs> and so anyway, I was excited. I answered that phone call like right away. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey, what's up? You know, all the butterflies inside and I'm like kind of sweating, getting all excited, trying to be super cool. And I'm on the highway and he says, oh, nothing, you know, I'm just at the mall doing some Christmas shopping and I was wondering if you'd like to, to meet me out. And I look up where I am on the highway. And of course, the sign, the next exit is the mall. <laughs> what do you think I did? Do you think I went and jumped right into my big comfy bed even though that's all I wanted to do? Or do you think I took that exit, went shopping, went out for dinner and drinks, stayed up all night, having Christmas parties and having the best time ever? Which one do you think I did? Isn't that funny how that works? Whatever you prioritize, you will energize. What are you focusing on? What excites you? And honestly, what excuses are you making? Here's the thing. 
and this can really hurt, but I want you to think about this. If you have a friend, a family member, a partner, anybody that says that they're so sorry they can't talk to you because they're really busy, hey, I, I'll get you, you just understand, I'm just so busy, and they don't reply to your text, they don't reply to your phone, and you feel like from the bottom of their heart they're a genuinely nice person, they do care about you. Truth is, though, they just don't prioritize you. Ouch, I know, but it's true. And also, are you that person that says that to everyone else? Sorry, I'm just so busy. Sorry, I'm just so busy. I'm just so busy. What? Here's the thing, you're the boss. You are the CEO of your life. You are the shot caller. You are the visionary. And here's the thing, if you feel really, really tired, you can tell yourself you're not and watch your whole entire energy change. I know you've done it before. You mostly like, Back in our college days, you can probably think of it, right? But even, even now, what if you were so sleepy, but all of a sudden you're ready to go to bed or cuddle on the couch and your husband walks in and says, babe, just got tickets to like a Broadway show tonight. Babe, I just got like the best table and the best new restaurant and we're going. Would you be like, no, I'm just definitely not going to. No, you would snap out of it and you would have the best time. So what are things that you should be doing, but you're not doing because you're telling yourself stories that you're accepting as true? change it because you it's up to you i want you to think about this this week whatever you prioritize you energize wherever the focus goes the momentum goes what goes in motion stays in motion make a decision choose to be a woman of your word and stop labeling things negatively you're not afraid you're excited you're not tired. You're about to have the best night ever. <laughs> you don't feel sick. You feel so healthy because you choose to focus on that. Understand the power of your mind. You are divinity in motion. Remember that. And I can't remind you enough how supported you are. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, energetically, entirely. How does a woman who knows that she's truly supported, how does she act? How does she speak to herself? Does she constantly tell herself that she doesn't have time? Time doesn't exist. Of course you do. We all have the same 24 hours. Mother Teresa, Buddha, Jesus Christ, Beyonce. <laughs> we all have the same 24 hours. So why are you telling yourself you're too busy? Because you're not. When you embody her, you know who I'm talking about, your inner feminine beast. She shows up differently. She has time for the things that she wants. What are you telling the universe? If you don't want to be so wrapped up in, in your work and you'd rather be spending more time with your friends, then stop announcing out loud that you don't have time to be with your friends and you only have time for work because guess what? Your wish is my command. That's what the universe is saying. It's your genie. Start speaking into truth and start realizing how powerful you are and also create boundaries. Cut the time. Five o'clock, mm, no more working. But, 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 no, no, but, but, but. You create this reality, how you wanna write it. You're the director, you write the scripts, you call the shots. Trust me, I'm a woman who have changed my life and I've changed the lives of thousands of other women. You have to be vulnerable, you have to be willing. So think about priorities this week. Are people prioritizing you? And, and if, if not, is it something that you can change? And if not, don't expect other people to change. Remember, everybody's doing the best that they can at the conscious level that they are at. But, but realize that. Maybe you shouldn't be prioritizing them, right? And what is it that you can shift now? Not tomorrow, not later, not someday. No someday, no. <laughs> now, what can you change now? It all starts now. When? Now. What you prioritize, you energize. Acknowledge it. Embrace it. See it through. See you later, successful soul. Hey, successful soul. Before you head to the next episode of Spiritual Success, be sure to come join me and other like-minded entrepreneurs and business professionals in my Facebook group called Spiritual Success Sorority. Everyone is welcome. And if you're loving the show, you're going to love the group even more. There, I'll be engaging with you weekly in live shows, listening to your input for new weekly topics, and hosting exclusive workshops for members only. 
So if you're looking to really uplevel your financial and personal success, meet me on over in the Spiritual Success Sorority Facebook group. See you on the inside.